Welcome to our third course in this series of courses on qualitative research. This course is going to focus on the ethics of qualitative research. This course will focus on a few different topics that are intimately related, such as ethical considerations in qualitative research and recruitment and sampling approaches. So let's begin with ethics. And this is not meant to be a comprehensive introduction of ethics. We'll definitely have a future series of courses just dedicated to exploring all the different aspects and concepts on the field of ethics. This is just meant to introduce you to how to understand and talk about ethics when it comes to qualitative research. Ethics are the cornerstone of any research study. They got the design of our study, our interaction with participants, and how we manage and handle the data we collect from them. Integrity and credibility of a study is directly linked to the ethical considerations it upholds. Due to its nature, qualitative research places a significant emphasis on ethical considerations. Often qualitative researchers interact very closely with the participants. They delve into their experiences, their perceptions, and sometimes their personal stories, all of which require an increased sensitivity and commitment of doing no harm. So ethical considerations are not just about following rules, but about respecting and protecting the individuals who make our research possible. Imagine a qualitative research study that explores the experiences of cancer patients navigating the healthcare system. This topic inherently requires the researcher to approach participants with empathy, respect, and a heightened awareness of the emotional implications of participating in this research. Without a deep commitment to ethical considerations, the researcher runs the risk of causing undue emotional distress to the participant or worse, exploiting their vulnerabilities. This is exactly the scenario that researchers should actively try to avoid. So one of the fundamental principles of ethics is beneficence, which is really about ensuring that the research conducted brings some good. This doesn't necessarily mean that the research must have direct benefits to participants, although that is always a plus. It could mean that the research contributes to the broader understanding of a topic, influencing policy changes, or informing better practices in the future. In our example of cancer patients, the research may not directly benefit participants, but it could lead to an improved understanding of the healthcare system that future participants will appreciate. Another key ethical principle is justice. We must strive to ensure that our research is both fair and equitable. This involves deeply thinking about who participates in our research, who benefits from our research, and who might be potentially harmed by our research. If the benefits and burdens of our research are inequitably distributed, then the research could be seen as unjust. In addition to these two principles, there's a few other important ethical considerations to make for qualitative research studies. Ethics in qualitative research must encompass the cultural sensitivities of participants. Researchers need to be aware of and respect the cultural context of the participants. This respect should be reflected in how the study is designed, how data is collected, and how the findings are interpreted and reported. The second consideration for qualitative research is the potential power dynamics that are at play. By the very nature of their role, researchers hold a certain amount of power over the participants. It's important for researchers to acknowledge this dynamic and take steps to minimize the potential negative impact of these power relationships. But that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Continue in this series as we talk about ethics, recruitment, and sampling. My name is Ramir Majid. I'm from The Methodologist. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by liking, sharing, subscribing. Until the next video, take care.